What was your high school experience like? And does that ever have any bearing on the fact that you're doing this work now to try to make the high school experience meaningful for somebody else? Absolutely. I grew up in Metro Atlanta in a very population, um, uh, a, a booming population center. I, I believe the statistic when I graduated was that it was the largest high school east of the Mississippi. So we had over a thousand in our graduation cl graduating class, and I was basically there as a, a fly on the wall. Um, I, you know, I was involved in activities and, and lived a pretty traditional high school life, um, but you know, at the end of the day, I was just a number. Um, seeing our high schools and our charter systems and working for that risk youth, particularly in the prisons, and, and knowing that it's a real, it's not their traditional high school environment, but it's someone that those students matter to uh, in those high schools, that the schools there are there to serve the students and, and actually care about the children. Isn't something that I had. I'm not saying that my administrators and teachers didn't love me. I'm sure that they did, and, and had they gotten to know me, it would have been a, 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 a better um, experience for all, a lot of us. But it just we didn't have that opportunity. So is it the size? Is it? I mean, the size obviously has to be a part of it. But there was there's other things too in terms of the structure, the way that the relationships are supported, huh? Absolutely. Um, I think the size is conducive to having a more um, welcoming environment. Um, but what you'll see in, in these schools is genuine uh, care and compassion for the students. Um, and it's hard to do that when you're serving 150 students a day, but when you've got um, a couple dozen uh, at-risk students who really need your help and support, everybody's able to give that 110% to serve those kids.